Here's how to activate your eSIM on Mint Mobile. Now, if you're just signing up for Mint Mobile and you wanted to activate your eSIM, not a physical SIM card, but it's easy to do an eSIM with Mint Mobile. That way you don't have to mess around with any SIM cards. You can just quickly and easily get everything set up. I'll walk you through those steps. But first, I have a coupon code down below, see in the description and in this video to be able to get half off your first month of Mint Mobile. So the first thing we're gonna do is open up the app here. If you don't have the app, you can just head into your app store or Google Play Store and download and install Mint Mobile. That I find is the easiest way to get everything set up is just to download the app. So once you've done that, open up the app here and depending on what you're starting with, you're gonna choose a few different things. One is you can try before you buy, which is a great option. If you already have an account at the bottom, you can just log into your existing account. Or for me, I'm gonna activate my eSIM just by tapping activate your eSIM. Now what you need is the 11 digit ACT code, which was emailed to me. So I can just go into my order here and then I am gonna copy this code, come back over here and I am gonna paste it in. So just like that, I can hit continue and it says it's phone number time for three months. Do I wanna keep my current one or get a new one? So this is a nice feature. Basically you can transfer your existing phone number to Mint Mobile or you can set up a brand new phone number. I'm gonna hit get a new one here and then enter in my zip code 27608 and hit continue. And it says, just to make sure I don't wanna transfer and I'm sure. So next I'm gonna enter in my information here and my email address. And you'll see this only takes a couple seconds to go through this process. Hit this check, there we go, and hit activate card. So basically this is the entire process. You go on here, if you already have that activation code, it's only a few different steps to enter it in. If you don't have that activation code, I just went to mintmobile.com on my phone and signed up. But as I said before, you can just go into the app directly itself, and then you can sign up in the app and it's pretty easy to do so. So you basically just wait for them. Basically, they're finding a phone number for you that matches your area, your you know zip code and all that stuff, and they will set you up with an eSIM. So once this is done, keep in mind, I do have my old phone number on there, so I'll be able to use my old phone number with AT&T, as well as this new phone number with Mint Mobile. So you can see I'm activated at the very top, and I can just hit continue, and install eSIM. Let's hit continue here. And you can see it goes through this step and activates your eSIM. The cool thing with this is that you can control everything as well with your app. Unlike a lot of other mobile carriers, the Mint Mobile app I've found is really useful and helpful and built so that you can basically configure everything and do everything directly in the app. So then once this is done activating here, I'll be able to start using my new phone number. I'll start be able to text on it, call all of that stuff once it's done connecting to that network. There we go. Now it is done. You can see I have my two phone numbers here. I can label them as primary business, whatever I want. And now I have those two different numbers and I've activated my Mint Mobile eSIM. Hope this helps. Make sure you use that coupon code below if you are signing up for Mint Mobile helps you save a few bucks. Check you on the next one. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions.